Hey, Vertical Kids, happy Easter! He is risen! He is risen indeed! So yesterday we talked about Jesus' um, burial. He was dead and buried in the tomb. The stone was sealed, and the entrance to the tomb was guarded by soldiers. Sadness and confusion filled the hearts of those who had loved Jesus and followed him. But although everything looked hopeless, the story wasn't over yet. If you are joining us from home, you can open up your Bibles to Matthew 28, and we're going to start reading in verse 1. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came, and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen, just as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid and go and tell my brothers and go to Galilee and there they will see me. So in the early morning, on the third day after Jesus had died, some women who loved him went to the tomb to take spices to anoint his body. In the book of Mark, we learn that while they were on their way to the tomb, they were asking one another, who will roll away the stone so we can get inside? Uh -huh. But when they got there, they had no need to worry about that. For when they arrived, they saw that the stone had already been rolled back. An angel had come from heaven to move the stone and now sat on top of it. The guards who had been standing watch now lay on the ground trembling with fear. The angel told the women not to be afraid. Jesus, whom they were looking for, was not there. He had risen. He was alive. And after showing them the place where Jesus had once laid, the angel instructed the women to go tell the disciples what they had seen and heard and told them that Jesus had already gone ahead of them to Galilee. The disciples had a hard time believing what the woman had told them. Peter and John even ran to the tomb to see for themselves. But when they saw the empty tomb, they too believed. And when Jesus later appeared to them, they fell at his feet in worship. Jesus had conquered the grave. Death could not hold him. This is what Jesus had come to do. He went to the cross not only to take the punishment for our sin, but to defeat death so that one day we might live forever in heaven with him. What a glorious day. So today, boys and girls, if you're joining us from home, you can grab out your day eight bag, and in it you'll find a colored piece of cardstock and a template that has a picture of the tomb and a stone. And you're gonna cut out both of those pieces and glue them so you glue the tomb onto the colored cardstock, and then right here where this gray rectangle is, you will glue that part of the stone over this gray rectangle, and it'll end up looking like this. So the tomb is in front of the, or the stone's in front of the tomb, and when you pull it back, it says, He is risen. He is risen. He is risen. We hope you guys join us by making your um, He is risen craft, and we'd love to say. Um, pictures of you guys making your craft or the finished product so we can see how we're all celebrating Easter together. Happy Easter! Happy you are loved!